you deserve it welcome back to my channel my name is pretty eyes and um welcome to my channel so today's video i decided to like just chill out for like a split second so i can like really get into my myself for a split second and like really trying to navigate where i'm at mentally i feel like coming into a stage where i am now versus then i feel like i'm more at peace with my past more, more than anything overthinking has really caused us to like not see what we have going on today appreciate what we have right now and that's kind of where i'm at mentally right now just like thinking about everything that i've gone through everything that i'm starting to realize i'm like okay it's either you're gonna live in the past or you're gonna move forward but you gotta sort what's going on up there in order to do that i'm understanding like the power i have and how much faith i have in myself to go and move forward how people use the past to dictate who you are now and they don't even know you and I feel like ageism really got to a lot of people to the point where they will not go out for their dreams or just remotely sit down for a split second and get into self. Because that's who we need to get into. Spiritually, I'm like trying to understand like what do you want in life? And how are you changing certain things to get to your goal? So I took less time away, like I took less time away from my family versus work. And I don't ever want to do that because being a provider and a protector to my family is really hard as a single person. You know, you need a tribe. Excuse me. But you can't be overthinking. Like literally needs to stop if you want to believe in yourself. Because sometimes I feel like we really do forget that. Like how blessed we are and i need to be appreciative of what i have now i have a beautiful family that loves me and is willing to support me and everything and sometimes i forget that and then i'm like i have to stop on my track for just a split second just to appreciate what god has right then and there because when they're gone there's really nothing i can do about it you got to make sure you have the discernment to distinguish like who is here for the long run and who's not. I had to shed a lot of people away from me. I had to shed my old self and I'm still constantly shedding certain things, trying to realize what I want and how I'm going to live for what I'm here for. I've been writing on this lately. I woke up at 11.11 this morning. But before that, I had a dream prior before work in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I like zombie movies, funnily enough. <laughs> there was a few things I remembered to help me understand my feelings and thoughts day to day. In my dream, obviously I'm running away from running virus flesh, eating zombies to survive. I was in a neighborhood that wasn't familiar, yet I know and knew to stay alive. I was reaching trees and almost had superhuman strength. But there was a particular scene where me and someone were trying to get away from them. We jumped into a small hole with water. I can't swim. <laughs> I was frightened, but I knew if I had tried to find an easier way out, it would have taken me longer to get to the goal. So I jumped in the hole full of water knowing I can't swim. The zombies couldn't get to me but kept trying. I looked back in the water not sure where it would have led. Had led. Then I looked at the zombie. I took a deep breath. Then submerged into the pipeline. I came out not even five to 10 seconds to a smaller pipeline. But I kept moving forward. But that was just telling me to face my traumas and understand that I need to flow with ease. That is what water teaches you. 
relax, serene, flow into self. And I'm grateful for how far I've come on my journey and I have still so much more to learn. So these are my affirmations. I flow like water. I am water. I do not fear water. Fear fears me. I believe in my water. I believe in myself. It fears me. Water cleanses away all my fears. I believe in me. I don't believe in fear. My confidence thrives off the hateration. <laughs> and I'm 100% that bitch. Shout out to Lizzo. Sis. I am that girl. Shout out to Baby and Beyonce. I don't fear you. So sometimes we let fear get in our heads. And sometimes we need to just flow with it. We cannot be afraid to create. We cannot be afraid to move forward and see what else life has to offer. When you realize how far you come from how you used to be. But if you're gonna stay that way, like stay how you are, then that's on you. But people like me, I will continue to move forward. Because I don't know what God got for me or anything like that. I just know I'm going to always be protected. I'm always going to be loved. And I'm always going to make sure that. So I had a lot of fear of realizing that if everything that I wanted to do creatively was holding me back was because I was afraid to show what I can do. And or I was afraid of what my others might think. And I learned to just flow. Because not everybody's going to like your shit. And you're still going to be 100% that bitch. So it doesn't matter what you put out. Just put it out. 